Hello, racers, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be bringing you a no-nonsense straight to point guide on how to get started with GIMP for creating racing liveries in No Man's Ultima. If you're looking for the easiest way to jump in and get started designing, then you're obviously in the right place. So before we dive in, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process, and uh, I just want to share some uh, quick points, basically, in this video. I will uh, mark down, basically, uh, you can see, skip ahead to maybe certain sections that uh, maybe suit you. But uh, if you look at specific parts of the tutorial, we'll go over first uh, finding Loman's ultimate templates. This is uh, how to locate and upload the templates onto GIMP. It's very straightforward stuff. Number two, basic paint job and uh, the basic use of the tool. Uh, just a quick overview of the fundamental painting techniques and uh, the essential tools you'll need. It's very simple. And uh, number three, using the freehand tool, uh, just tips on how to use this tool uh, for more precise editing uh, on the templates. Uh, number four would be the rotation tool, how to effectively use the tool for aligning your designs. And number five will be kind of the tips and tricks uh, that I've picked up along the way. So it's uh, common issues like uh, maybe the rotation errors, uh, anchoring floating images, uh, undoing changes, uh, deleting sections to prepare the car for, you know, uh, a better editing process, basically. But we'll go over all of them. So whether you're new or you're into it, uh, there'll be bits of this video that you could uh, refer to. So if you have any questions while following along, just uh, drop a comment below. And uh, if you have any useful tips, if you're uh, a dab hand at GIMP, you know, and any tips and tricks you have of your own, share these too. Uh, let's build a helpful community together via this video in the comments below, uh, where racers can learn, troubleshoot, and improve uh, all together. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into this. No BS. Let's go up to the top right-hand corner and open an existing image. Now, we just need to find where the man's ultimate is on your PC. Mine now mine's on my SSD, the second one. So let's look at where Le Mans Ultimate is stored. So we want to be look for this Steam library. It will be in Steam apps. It's common. Uh, Le Mans Ultimate at the top, and we are looking for the folder support. A really cool thing that Le Mans Ultimate does is provide us with every template for every car in Le Mans Ultimate. I mean, we don't have to scroll across the internet trying to find the right template for it. So in the support, we will find the livery template. Simply click on that, and we are going to upload. Uh, we'll go with a GT3. We'll go with the Lamborghini because I know with the Lambo we can troubleshoot quite a few problems uh, already. So basically, we're going to click on the Lamborghini here we can, and we're going to open up the template. Simple click on it, open. It will load it up. It's going to ask us OK, and if we want to convert it, very simple stuff. We're going to OK, and we're going to convert. It just gives Skimp a bit of an easier time. You can keep it, but uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to convert. And there we are. We have our livery, our template rather, up and ready to rock and roll. For the purpose of this first bit, we're just going to go with one solid colour. Uh, easy, easy thing to across the car. Now, with some of the cars, they will have carbon fibre, if not the majority of them, and we can't paint over carbon fibre. So, what I like to do is actually delete the uh, file. It's going to make life a lot easier. So, for today's purpose, we're going to work with this top left hand corners. These are uh, tools here, just the basic stuff. And the bottom right here is the different sections of the car. So, I would advise to you to come up to region, click on the arrow, and come down here. We can see here carbon fiber. Let's get straight rid of it. Easy, right hand click. Let's delete the layer. Perfect, and that is the carbon fiber away and done with. A lot of people will be trying to paint the car and clicking and not being able to put it on and wondering why. It's more than likely the carbon fiber being selected. So scroll down and we want to come on to our base. It's the base paint of the car. Now, I imagine a lot of people may have got this for that and they're still not seeing uh, the paint come up. So we're going to troubleshoot it. That's why we picked the Lamborghini. So top left, we're going to select our rect rectangle tool. And we're simply going to click and drag it across the entirety of the car. Big one solid paint job is going to be the easiest way about going around it. I have a feeling that we still have to unclick uh, a colour thing here, but we're simply for the purpose of this video, we're going to select the colours top left. You can go wild here, but uh, for this purpose, we're going to just go something nice and easy. We're going to go erect and simply, once we've got our rectangle squared away and over the template, we're just going to simply right click and edit and we're going to fill with color this may not work straight away yep so we've definitely done it however the car itself we still need to come down to this base bit here and with the fx here the little symbol here we want to click it 
and this has got color overlay we simply want to remove it click on the eye and voila we will not have to mess around again with deleting the carbon and understanding why uh, the pin is not being applied to our car it's a simple bottom right hand corner two steps there where we can get going and start really painting our cars all right we're back on lmu now top right hand corner we've got the three lines simply click go down to liveries and we're going to create the new livery in lmu click bottom right create a new car we are working on the lamborghini simply click it confirm and it will very quickly load in to the editor rather the showroom but you will be met with this 100% black car, it still has the carbon on it. We haven't uploaded anything quite yet, but this is what you'll be met first coming on here. It's perfect. We're in the showroom, and this is where we can start to get going. So simply, all I want you to do is go back and click on the GIMP app. Okay, we're back on to GIMP, and what we're going to do now is upload that paint job on. So top right hand, left hand side of your screen, we have file, simply open it, and we are going to export as, for the first time, we're going to export as as of uh, once we're getting into it we just need to export it but we're going to locate it so export as and we're going to find our uh, le mans ultimate folder again so we're going to go to look at this the steam library steam apps common le mans ultimate and for instead of the support this time we're going to go down to user data and in here we'll find a file called livery so just click on the livery click on the custom skin tga we're going to leave the art and the skin uh, region alone so just simply click on it and we're going to click export it is going to save to replace just replace that simple click it will ask us again export perfect and we're going to see it load kind of across the bottom you saw the two lines go there perfect right back over to a man's ultimate all right, back on the Lorenz Ultimate, and this is a simple bottom right-hand corner. Now we've loaded, exported it rather on GIMP, we're just simply going to reload. And there you are. Voila, our paint job is on. We simply do this with the free hand tool top left. This is a free select tool. We're going to click on it. Now we have control to select bits of the car that we may want to paint our work on. So say if we want to uh, do the spoiler joints, here's, and now we're also set here, we can use the free select tool. I would advise to go to the magnifying glass top left and zoom in. Click zoom in there. As soon as I zoom in on this area, make it a little bit easier for us with the free select tool. Of course, select the free tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple outline. So click on the starting point, click, pull it around, just keep clicking, making points of it. And this is a very, very simple way of how to use the free select tool instead of doing, you know, basic rectangles and stuff like that. It's very handy just for picking out little bits of the car that you need make sure it's joined on perfect there we go and we can we have those selected we have one set selected so of course we're probably going to want these in a different color and we can simply do this right now by clicking on the paint and we can select the colors we want for the purposes of this video we're just going to keep it nice and simple we use a silver and with look it is simple as a right click edit and we're going to fill with the color we selected boom there you go guys and we have that bit Done. I am going to go do the other one, but I'm going to save you the boredom of having to uh, sit there and do it. Without further ado, power of magic. We're both done, and again, top left, file, export, custom skin, TG. Yeah. Done. Okay, perfect. Back on the man's ultimate. We know, or we hope, we've painted these bits in. You can move around by just simply dragging the car. You can also actually uh, right click this as well and get a better tune of uh, where you want it. But simply now we've exported, we're just going to reload, and there we go. Those bits of the car are painted using the free select tool. So we're back on GIMP, and we're semi-happy with the paint job we've done so far. So we want to start adding things to it. Are you stickers, sponsors, racing decals, whatever you want to call them. We want to add them to our car, and we want to figure out the rotating tool within GIMP. So what we're going to simply do on our image is right-click, file and we're going to open a layer what i would suggest any aspiring artist and person that is interested in doing these kind of things is to create a new folder on your pc go to google and start downloading as many as you can possible transparent images of logos sponsors uh, racing decals that kind of thing so what you would do is say say we'll go with brembo brembo brakes or whatnot we would just type in simply in google 
uh, Brembo logo transparent. And in the Google images, you'll find hundreds of uh, Brembo logos that are transparent and we can put on use onto our car. So again, back to it, file, we're gonna open up as a layer and we're gonna find where I, where you have your, uh, your stickers basically. I know mine are in my pictures and down at the bottom I have stickers. I have a massive, massive list of stickers you can see that I've accumulated. So for the purpose of this video, we're simply going to add, uh, should we add the Brembo one? I don't know. I think we'll, we'll just stick with this one for now. So we're going to select the image you want and we're going to click open. That should open it. We're going to convert, make it nice and simple. Boom, there's the image. Probably not the best paint job for that particular image, but we have it on anywhere. Okay, so we have our sticker up on GIMP. We want to maybe move it around. So of course we were on free select tool there for a second. Click on the arrows and that is moving around the image that we want to move. Make sure you're on the actual image itself before you start moving it. Now we can move it wherever we want on the actual car itself. And that's easy done. Sometimes you will, by accident, maybe click on the actual uh, template itself and move it and kind of move that around. And again, what we know is by right clicking edit and undo the move layer, the accident I did, it kind of undoes what we did. Yet it applies for every mistake that you do. You can simply right click edit and undo the actual move of the layer. All right, back to it. We've got our sticker on there and it is rather large for that roof. So simply, we are going to go to the bottom right here where our sections are. We know it's here. We're just going to simply right click on it and we have scale layer. This is, for all intents and purposes, we're gonna resize the image. So click on it, and this is the dimensions it has. The width, we know it needs to come down a little bit. So let's just simply half that. We'll put it at 500, and it will automatically do the height for it. If you want to do your fine tuning, all you would need to do is simply select this link here, and you can individually do each one as you want. However, the actual app does a grand job of resizing it for us so we did 500 we're going to simply press scale boom there you go our images is a better size now to go on the car now some people obviously that'd be great for the near side car or the side of the car but we would need to rotate it so simply all we're going to do is select the rotate tool and click now this is great because this is saying this this section doesn't intersect with a selected layer and i had this issue for the longest time i went into photos and edited some of my stickers to be the right way before I went and uploaded the process. But if you come up against this, all we need to simply do is select our rectangle tool, drag it over the image like so. And now if I select the rotate tool, it will rotate it. I, I know I had this uh, problem and I know a lot of you out there will have that issue as well. And all it is, is very simply, Clicking the rectangle and going over the image we want to rotate and then clicking back it will do it every single time so very simply we are going to move this so it's pointing the front and we're going to click rotate hopefully for the purpose of this video it will be a it will start as a floater in uh sticker which it has that's perfect it will not do this all the time but do not be alarmed right now with this coming up as this as a floating uh, as it says in the bottom we're just going to simply go to the bottom right right click on it and we're just going to anchor the floating layer mask boom it's on it's the right way i'm glad that those two issues came up because it takes a little uh, pressure off the tips at the end of this video very quickly top left file export custom skin to ga that's it all right, back on LMU now, and we know we've exported the file, and we've put it on, so we're going to see what this bad boy looks like, and all we simply need to do is reload. There we go. Our sticker is on the car. Back over to Gimp now, and obviously, Section 5 was going to be a neat way to do the tips, tricks, and stuff that I've come across, and thankfully, adding that sticker there, just not two of them right out the pack. The rotating error. Rotating stickers and stuff like that that uh, refuse to because they're in the wrong uh, subsection or whatnot, and they refuse. When you click on rotate, it will come up a no-no. All we do is create a rectangle around that image, click rotate, and it will then rotate. I hope that helps a lot of you guys out with trouble with that. And it's basically because we probably haven't got it in the right subsection here. Obviously, once we rotated the actual uh, image and it came up as a floating layer, all we needed to do was right-click it, and up here, there were the options to anchor the layer. That's all you would do is right click on it, come up here, 
had it been that way and uh, and anchor the actual rotating tool itself so that's perfect and obviously guys what i want to point out it is a very basic and very very straight to the point guide on how to start getting going you you know we learned how to use the free tool it's a very easy uh very easy matter but obviously these things can be absolutely daunting when they first load up and you're unsure of what to do and the best advice obviously is to get rid of the carbon in the bottom right hand corner in your regions and just make sure when you are coming to your base here that you uh if it's still not coming up with your paint job or whatnot that we do click on the fx and just make sure this color overlay is clicked off otherwise we simply will not have that come up uh, it will not show us the paint job once you've clicked on the fx and you've got that off and click on the burst and you can go wild with the colors that you want to do you know it doesn't have to be the, the color i've selected for the purpose of the video you can do whatever colors and whatever design you want to do but yeah getting a good sticker collection with the decals is uh, a great way to go and listen a lot of these templates are uh, well they're very different and i'm going to give you an example just very quickly, I've loaded up a Ford Mustang template, and just so you can see the difference in how things are laid out. Do not be daunted by this. You will figure out where the bits of the car is, and a very, uh, very easy way to do this, and, and uh, obviously to find out where bits of the car is, is a quick rectangle and paint job, and I'll show you just what I mean. All we'll do is select the rectangle tool. If we're just trying to work out where bits of the actual car are, you've got a lot of these uh, niggly bits down here that maybe we uh, have no idea where what is what. So all we do is simply drag our rotate uh, our square, square tool across it, and we'll just fill that colour in and give us a rough idea of where that bit of the car is. It's not pre-select. I know I've gone over a little bit, but just don't be afraid. We can always right-click edit and undo what we did so we're just going to simply export it so we file export and we're going to see where those gray bits are on that car to try and figure it out it's a great way with new templates you're unsure with just to try and figure out where the bits of the car are you know make it an obvious color we'll go back over to lmu and just have a quick look we're back in lmu now and we're just going to quickly press reload so that gray there well, i know it went over that bit so we know that one of the gray that we went over is definitely one of the winglets there and as you can see, just in the bonnet of the actual car itself, you can see we've painted over the, the, these two here. So we know for a fact, some of the grey that we've gone over is absolutely bits of the bonnet and the side winglet there as well. So that is a great way to find out where bits of the car are on, on a very unfamiliar template. Simply draw it to a rectangle, maybe a bright colour, and just see where it is. Again, we can take this away should we not want it. So back over to quickly to GIMP. Okay, we had a rough understanding of you know where those grey bits were actually on the car now all we do is we're going to right click edit and we're just going to undo that we're back to where we were I have to worry about any of that so hopefully that helps uh, you guys out on new templates and uh, just don't be daunted by it take your time there's absolutely no rush doing these things and above all enjoy yourself well, guys, that was it. So, if you found this video useful, uh, please obviously hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new here. And, uh, most importantly, I do want to hear from you guys. Uh, if you work with game, have any questions, drop a comment uh, below. And if you have any useful tips or tricks, uh, also share those too. Let's build a helpful community here where we're, we can all learn together, essentially troubleshoot and uh, improve together, whether you're new, whether you use it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Anything that uh, could be helpful towards anybody else using the app and most importantly i just want to thank each and every one of you for coming over checking out the video spending a little bit of time with me figuring out this game but i promise you i am a caveman with an iphone if i can do this you can do this too so yeah again like subscribe and most importantly come and comment in the video let me know if it was helpful uh, to you guys so as always with this channel take care of yourselves Take care of each other. Peace and love. Thank you for your time today with Kim. I hope this helps you guys. Cheers.